Hello everyone, uh, this is a quick video on just some stash ads and some other stuff I want to talk about. Uh, first off, the buddy build with Chef. Uh, we canceled that. <laughs> or not canceled, postponed, I guess. That'll be, that'll be a lot more sense to say. Um, made a lot more sense to say. Uh, but here's the custom pumper. So pretty much what I worked on was the cab and some other stuff. Uh, nothing much. Like, it, it was just a pain to do. Oh, the paint job was messed up. Crap. But, uh, right there, you can see it. I don't know what happened. But the cab turned out very nice until I just saw this right now. I don't know how that happened. I'll try scraping that off. Damn. Uh, but really nothing else. I got the engine done. Um, the chassis is kind of complete. It's just that a lot of the parts were on the sprues and we talked about it for a bit. But, uh, yeah, we just wanted to cancel this for a sec because uh, he has to build the, the uh, big rig. For the 2020 2021 build uh, but yeah the custom pumper is postponed for now so i'm gonna work on other stuff i finished a 2017 camaro recently um i'm in the summer i'm gonna do a buddy build with sean uh from scale model car guy i think i said his channel correctly at least uh but we're gonna do a formula one group build or uh, buddy build and to start it off, I have four Formula 1 kits, so I don't know how it's going to work exactly, but here it is. And here's the Lotus 102B, driven by Mika Hakkinen and someone else in the 1990, 1991 season. And I am a geek for Formula 1. I love the sport. It's my favorite sport of all time. Uh, and Mika Hakkinen drove this car. Uh, Two-time world champion, or was it three-time? Two time. Yeah, two time, because he... Nah, I forgot. Uh, yeah, Mika Hakkinen, he drove this car. And it was sponsored by Tamiya, which is kind of fascinating, because I never knew that before. But, yeah, I'm going to try building this. This should be fun. I got it for 30 bucks on eBay, and free shipping, which is very rare. Uh, the next Formula 1 kit would be the Williams FW13B, with the Renault engine of the 1989 season. And this, this is uh, different from the fw 13 uh, regular version or the A because over here the scoop uh, that was brand new for the last six races I believe um, and the design changed a little uh, I think it was debuted in Adelaide I don't know for sure about that but it was driven by Ronnie Peterson and someone else I forgot who but that's when Eric Senna was racing in the McLaren and the, they were dominant in 89 um, and I just love the 90s cars. Like, they have a great design overall. Just the small, compact design that had screaming engines. It was wonderful to see. Uh, but yeah, Williams FW13B. And I got for that for like 40 bucks. So that was a great deal right there. And the next Formula 1 kit is the Ferrari F1 2000 from 2000. And it was driven by Michael Schumacher and Rubens Barrichello. Or was it? It might have been Rubens Barrichello or Eddie Irvine. I forgot which one uh, drove for that year. But it might have been Barrichello. But this was the championship winning car, I'm pretty sure. Or McLaren might have won that season. I forgot. 2000s were kind of messy. I only know 2005 and up. <laughs> yeah, 2005, because that's when Ferrari's dominance kind of stopped. But it's a pretty nice kit. Looks like it'll go together really well. Uh, it's to Mia, so really no complaints at all. Should be fun. Uh, the next kit I have is the Williams FW24 from the 2002 season. And it has the screaming V10 engine like the Michael Schumacher Ferrari car. And I can't wait to build this one as well. I really like Williams. They might be my favorite team or my favorite historic team. Because right now, Red Bull will be my favorite team. Uh... But yeah, that's the Williams. It looks very cool. I really want to build this one, so this might be my first option to build. But we'll see about that. Uh, and those are the cars I'm, I have to choose one of them for the buddy build, or I might do more. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, the next kit will be the Aston Martin DB4, which I picked up on eBay for 40 something dollars. But it's a rare kit. I found one that was going for like 60 so I want to pick this up quickly. And it has movable doors and move and uh, opening trunk. Can you believe that? It's only made in '65, and it has all those things: a movable trunk and a movable doors. It's awesome. It's an Aston Martin DB4, and I'm gonna paint it in British Racing Green. 
and a black or it's tan interior. I'm still deciding about that. Probably a black. Make it simple, make it neat, and that'll be good. Uh, the next kit I have is the Heller 172nd Spitfire or Supermarine Spitfire Mark V B. And I'm gonna build this for a friend uh, since he paid me. And yeah, that's the last. Wait, no, it isn't actually. The next kit I have is the 1700 scale Bismarck that was given to me like around Christmas time. So I still haven't done this, but I really got the, I really got the, um, what do you call it, the mood for 1700 scales because they're so small and finicky. So we'll see about that. But yeah, that's really it. Uh, just wanted to give a little update, a quick video, and uh, one quick. Thing. I added wood for my bench, so basically it gives me double space, or maybe a third of my space. But yeah, that's really it. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys later.